tonight. History will be made. East Lincoln Speedway in Stanley, North Carolina. The debut of the next generation of dirt car racing. The U.S. Legends Dirt Modified. Only at East Lincoln Speedway tonight and coming to you live on the XN Network. U.S. Legends Modifieds on the pole of this one, the number 91 of Willie Evernham, and yes, that is Ray's nephew. To the outside, it is the 19 of Donnie Marvel, another one of his nephews. The 87 is Matt Long out of Concord, North Carolina, successful late model driver. To his outside, well, that is going to be the 6K of Kevin York and Shotgun on the field. As we come to green is the 18 of Ralph Shaheen. They'll work the way into turn number one. Long jumps from the third starting spot up to second. He'll work his way by the number 19 machine of Marvel. Down the back straightaway. First laps of actual competition you're witnessing here on XAN. And Willie Evernham will lead that first lap ever in a U.S. Legend Cars Dirt Modified, but it may not be his lead for long. Matt Long all over the rear nerf bar of that number 91 as they work into turn number three. Six laps, the distance of the heat races here this evening, two of which now complete. Everham continues to lead. As you see Long look to the bottom off turn number two, Everham throws the block just a car length separating them as they work through turns. Now three and four behind them. Here comes Marvel. He'll sling that car in hard in turn three. Make it now a three-car race for the lead as they work into turn number one with just two laps remaining. Down the back straightaway, Long gets crossed up. Kept looking at the bottom. Now he's looking up top as Marvel will give him the nerf bar. Into turn number three. Running fourth still is Kevin York. Ralph Shaheen just now crossing start finish about a quarter lap behind in this our opening heat race for the U.S. Legends cars. Dirt Modifieds. Scheduled for six laps. Looks like we're going eight this evening. Evernham still has the lead, but Matt Long trying his best to get by him. He dives hard into turn one. In fact, he'll leap the left rear of Evernham, and that's going to kill the momentum for Matt Long. He's going to have to fend off a challenge now from Donnie Marvel. Marvel looking to get back to that runner-up spot where he started. They'll touch wheels off turn four, but it will be Willie Evernham taking heat race number one, followed by Matt Long, then the 19 of Marvel. Kevin York in the 6K, and Ralph Shaheen finishing fifth in heat race number one for the U.S. Legend Cars Dirt we'll Modified. Heat race two lining up in just a matter of moments. Among the other ones in heat race number two, Evan York in the number three. The four is going to be Mark Lowry, 57, Tommy Corellis. The 98 is G.E. Chapman, and the six will be Josh Williams, and that heat race now rolls on to the speedway. Corellos will start on pole, followed by Williams to the outside. The four then of Lowry is third. Ke Evan York starts fourth, and then G.E. Chapman will roll off in the fifth spot. Field rolling down into turn number three. Corellos leads him down. First time in competition. In over 15 years, he will lead the field of the green flag. Into turn one, he'll get the advantage barely over Josh Williams, but he will slide up the racetrack. And here comes Evan York, started fourth, now up to second. He splits the needle in turn one, lap one. Has a challenge, though, from the number four of Mark Lowry. Lowry will settle back in third. York now going after your leader, Tommy Corellis. Corellis will slide high. Evan York, the 17-year-old. We'll look to the inside. Nothing there for the blue number three. This heat race looks to be a lot more tightly matched than the most recent one. Heat race number one. All five cars still. Bumper to nerf bar as they work through turns one and two. Now trying the high side is number four of Lowry. And Corellos will slide up. York's going to look to the inside. Lowry's going to try to make a three wide up top. He will spin out. Oh, and they'll make contact. Williams nowhere to go. And that will bring the caution out here in heat race number two. 
Evan York doing a fantastic job in that number three. Came from road racing, just 17 years old. Picked up a lot of pointers after hot laps. Wasn't quite up to speed, but it looks like he's got the speed in that number three here this evening. And Tommy Corrales, one of the neatest stories in this field. He has won a race in the 1950s, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. That's five decades in which he has won some type of race over 600 feature wins to his credit between modified street stocks, late models, everything he has ever run. He's been retired for about 15 years, and what did he do? He decided, ah, oh, these things look fun. I'm going to come out here and have my hand at the new dirt modified from U.S. Legends cars. And so far, he certainly has not forgotten very many tricks trying to show the young ones behind him how, in fact, it is done. Corellis will lead him down for the restart. Single file, flagman gives him the green. And we are racing once again here at East Lincoln. And one more time, Lowry will go back at it. Josh Williams behind him, G.E. Chapman. In the number 98, that number 98 car, chassis number one, first one ever off the assembly line for U.S. Legends cars of these dirt modifieds. And it certainly shows that it is competitive right out of the block. Here goes York to the inside of Corellis. Corellis will slam the door in York's face. Evan going to have to regroup. He falls back two car lengths now from the 57 of Corellis. Down the front straightaway one more time. York trying to find a way by Corellis, but he is getting heat from G.E. Chapman, and now Chapman getting heat from Mark Lowry. Lowry unable to make the pass. In fact, he will fall back about three car lengths off of Chapman. White flag in the air this time. Final lap in heat race number two into turn one. Here comes the 57 machine of Corellis trying to hold off York. York now trying to fend off a challenge from Chapman. That's going to be just enough, it appears, for York not to be able to get to your leader. Corellis will win heat race number two. York, one last desperate attempt, not going to get it done. Corellis will win, followed by Evan York, G.E. Chapman, Mark Lowry, and Josh Williams. Pretty exciting heat race number two, and I think one thing, if anything, that heat race showed was the fact that these cars are, in fact, durable. You can beat with them, you can race with them, you can get into each other. We saw Josh Williams and Tommy Cur or excuse me, Josh Williams and Mark Lowry get into each other a little bit. Not a problem. Regather your thoughts, make sure you have your bearings, and get right back on the gas and keep going. That's what they did. And of course, both those cars still very hey, competitive. Welcome back here to the East Lincoln see. Speedway, Stanley, North Carolina, Ray Everham Enterprises, their palace of speed. Just northwest of Charlotte, North Carolina tonight, the U.S. Legend Cars Dirt Modifieds, their inaugural run in competition on the racetrack, world premiere of the next generation of dirt car racing. Lining up on the front straightaway now for heat races are concluded. Track PA announcers and officials getting everything lined up will join them in progress and give you tonight's starting lineup, the inaugural 10-car U.S. Legends Dirt Modified feature. And now our starting lineup. Car number 18, speed on the side of the car. You've seen him announcing for t and &E and TNT, CBS, you name it, he's done it. Maybe NBC, he loves sprint cars, so he loves the dirt track world. Car number 18 is Ralph Shaheen. Ralph Shaheen, car number 18. Car number six. He's raced Legends cars on asphalt, don't have a lot of dirt experience. Car number six, Josh Williams. Outside row number four. In car number four, he's an instructor to dirt track racing school. Car number four, Mark Lowry. Inside row number four, car number 6K. He's a road racing instructor. Also done racing in the Grand Am Series. Car 6K. Kevin York, outside row number three. Car number 98, G.E. Chapman, inside row number three. Car number, looks like it's going to be car number 91. Excuse me, car number 19, car number 19. He's a tire carrier on a cup team. Car number 19 is Donnie Marvel. 
your top two rows on the outside of row number two. Car number three, his first time ever in an oval race. Car number three, Evan York. Row two on the inside. His daytime job, he works at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. His weekend job, he races an NDRA late model. But he's jumped behind the wheel of a U.S. Legends modified. Car number 87 out of Concord, Matt Long. On the front row, he won heat race number one. He's raced some dirt. He's raced some asphalt. He's racing with a heavy heart here tonight. Car number 91, Willie Everham. And on the pole, he won heat race number two. They tell me he's almost 70 years young. Car 57, Tommy Corrales. Ladies and gentlemen, your starting lineup for the first ever Legends Modified. And that is your starting lineup here at East Lincoln Speedway for the World premiere of the inaugural event for the U.S. Legend Cars Dirt Modified. Feature tonight, going to roll 20 laps. First 20 laps of feature race competition. You saw the first two heat races ever with these cars. Very competitive, very fun car. We've heard a lot of people say how fun they are to watch. And, of course, the drivers have come to tell us how fun they are to drive, how easy they are to work on. And, Really, they're not a very big car at all. I mean, they're only about 10 feet long or so, 10 feet 6 inches, the uh, exact measurement on them, which uh, is pretty darn small for a race car. You really look at it, 74-inch wheelbase, a 69-inch tread width, and weight just over 1,000 pounds without the driver in one of these machines. So they're very lightweight, but they did a fantastic job of balancing all that with a horsepower-to-weight ratio in excess of 140 horsepower on one of these machines, a little bit more than a standard Legends car, but they've got a, a dirt suspension on there. It's basically a straight axle, front and rear. You've got radius rods to adjust. Uh, just three of them on the front, not nothing too super extravagant. Uh, you've got four coilover springs, four shocks, and of course, four tires. Air pressure uh, is gonna be imperative with these machines. It's a spec tire for these machines, so you don't have to worry about having a different tire choice, just one tire, that's all you gotta worry about. Four springs, a pannard bar, pretty simple to adjust. And, of course, you got the nut behind the wheel. You can loosen or tighten as well. And a few of these guys are probably going to have to loosen that one up come feature time. Pace car still rolling around. And it's amazing. You look at Tommy Corellis there on the front row. We talked about him earlier in the heat races. Nearly 70 years old. Still ready. He's been out of a car for 15 years. Decided, I'm going to come back. I'm going to run a U.S. Legends Dirt Modified. He is having an absolute blast and certainly putting it to the young guys. These are a lot of experienced drivers in the field, and he is showing them how it's done. Came from Modifieds up in the Northeast, big blocks in particular. Ran some small block modified stuff as well. The last race he ran was Syracuse Super Dirt Week. And then he comes to the East Lincoln Speedway 15 years later and takes the first checkered flag as the flagman gives the signal one lap till we go green and we will be racing with the u.s legends dirt modified tommy corella is going to lead him down willie everham outside row number two the 19. that is donnie marvel the tire carrier on the double zero of david rudiman on sundays tonight he's racing to his outside 17 year old evan york in the number three through turns three and four Waiting on the sign for the flagman. There it is. Green handkerchief in the air. We are racing. And Matt Long gets a fantastic start. He's down to the inside. Sweeps himself into the second spot. Corellis, though, out to a two-car length advantage. York slots in the third. Fourth is the number 19 machine of Donnie Marvel as they work through turns three and four. Corellis out to a little bit larger lead. They're nearly three wide into turn number one. They think better of it. Here goes Marvel down to the bottom of the speedway. He slides up into Evan York. They'll make just light contact and race side by side down the back straightaway. They'll get that battle sorted out, and here will go Marvel looking to the inside of Matt Long. Long slides wide off of turn number four, keeps the door open, and in fact, Marvel will stick his nose in there. Here comes Evan York as well. York down to the bottom of the speedway. He'll get alongside Marvel for the third spot. Meanwhile, your leader, Corellis, out to about a six-car length lead, slowly walking away from this one is Tommy Corellis. Battle still is for second. Marvel side by side with Matt Long. Behind them still some side by side battles going on as well. Lowry moving up. 
as Matt Long finally gets everything settled there for the second spot. That's actually the team car to Marvel, I apologize. It is Willie Everham in the 91. Marvel right now being shown back in the sixth spot. Still the best battle on the speedway up in that third spot. Evan York, he'll now slide in the position. Well, it was behind. Now inside of Matt Long into turn number one. Pulls the slide job on the experienced late model racer, does Evan York. And York will motor away, trying to reel in second place, Willie Evernham. He'll get that settled out momentarily. Now the battle is back for the fourth spot. Matt Long looked like he slipped a lap or two ago. And now he has fallen into the clutches of the number four, Mark Lowry. Lowry, one of the instructors at the Dirt Track Driving School out of uh, the Charlotte, North Carolina area. One of the people that helped develop this race car. Racing is now caution on the speedway. One of the cars is going around over in turn number two. Can't tell who it is from this exact vantage point. It looks like it might be the number 18 machine of Ralph Shaheen. His car not in the lineup right now. Sitting on the inside of the turn two wall. And that car now will be fired. He begins to roll away. Track safety personnel going to go tend to him, make sure everything is in fact okay. We talked to him earlier, said his biggest goal for the night was to make sure that car comes home in one piece. Hoping he didn't hit the inside wall at all, or for that matter, too hard. Maybe he can accomplish that goal here this evening. We'll try to get him all ready to go. So Tommy Corrales is your leader. He will start just ahead of Willie Evernham in the number 91. Evan York runs third. Matt Long is fourth. He'll get a chance now to regroup. Fifth is Mark Lowry. Sixth is the number 19 machine of Donnie Marvel. Seventh is the orange six car. That is Josh Williams. Seventh right now is the number 98 of G.E. Chapman. Eighth is the 6K of Kevin York. And it will be Ralph Shaheen rejoining the field. One lap to green. Field getting up to speed already at uh, Tommy Corrales. It's been a while since he's been in the car. The uh, not a very good restart, and I got a feeling they're going to wave this one off. They come out of turn four, and yes, the starter says, slow down, <laughs> Tommy Corellis. Very excited to get back to the pedal. He'll try to bring him around a little bit slower this time by. Willie Everham behind him. Evan York, fantastic job. First time ever in a oval track race of any sort, much less on dirt, doing a fantastic job. Of course, his dad, Kevin, in the field. We talked to Kevin just a little bit earlier on our broadcast. Happy to see his son doing well in the number three and having raced against Evan, I have to say he's a very young, very good talent. Certainly has a good chance of making it in the racing world. Corellis brings him down now at a good pace. Starter likes it. The restart is good and in the turn one we go one more time. Around the inside goes Willie Everham. Corellis left it open, but he will get the run off the top side of the racetrack. Open up a one and a half car length advantage down the back straightaway. But Everham sticks his nose in there. He will slip, and now Evan York will slide into the second spot. He will, in fact, clear Everham into turn number one, but he'll slide up the racetrack, and they make contact ever so briefly. It appeared in turn one. York will skate away from that one with no harm. The battle for first, second, and third beginning to settle itself out. Corellis leads York and Everham. Battle is now going to be behind them for the fourth spot. Matt Long trying to hold off the advances of the number 98 of G.E. Chapman, the four of Mark Lowry. Chapman making some noise here as we cross the halfway mark this time by. Ten laps down, ten laps still to go as Corellis leads. Battle, though, is behind him. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. For that matter, sixth, all right there under a blanket as they race into turn number three. Nine laps remaining in this one. And to the inside goes Chapman on Matt Long. This is for the fourth spot. Chapman right along the inside wall. Can't get the job done this time. He will open the door, however, for Mark Lowry. Lowry now will move himself up into the fifth spot. And he'll lean ever so slightly on Matt Long. Gets out of shape. 
So Lowry going to fall back into the fifth spot, try to regroup and go at Matt Long once again. Lowry into the outside. Thinks about it, can't get the job done. Ahead of him, though, for second. Battle begins to heat up once again. Willie Evernham, Evan York. York still maintaining that spot. Very interesting line for York. Slowing down big time on the straightaway to get that drive off the corner. Everett Hamm and so many others driving in deep, kicking that car sideways. And they're paying the price on the exit. Two very unique racing lines. And it displays how important the driver is in these U.S. Legends Modifieds and how much of it you can make up behind the wheel despite what the setup might have under it. And you can tune them for your own style and, of course, what the car is willing to give you. York now slides high over in turn number one. He'll try to chop down on Willie Everham. Everham backs out of it. Corellis is long gone in front of him. He's about 10 car lengths ahead. Four car battle now for the second spot. Matt Long has caught this group as well. Or check that, not Matt Long. That's actually the 98 of Chapman in the four of Lowry. Long has been bypassed by both of those machines. Battle still for second as they come by the flag stand. Just a couple of laps to go in this one. Your leader, Tommy Corellis, might in fact catch some lap traffic, but now finally behind him, Evernham will clear Evan York for the second spot. Through turns three and four. Popsicle sticks in the air from the starter. Two circuits remain in the world premiere of the U.S. Legends cars. Dirt modified, Tommy Corellis trying to hold off a late race charge from Willie Everham, the advantage about six car lengths as they come through turns three and four. White flag in the air for the New York native, Tommy Corellis. Trying to chase down his first win in over 15 years. They come up on a lap cart, spun to the inside. Caution on the speedway, yellow light is out. So it looks like it will be a one lap shootout for Tommy Corellis. Willie Everham and Evan York, GE Chapman running in fourth spot, fifth, Mark Lowry, sixth is Matt Long, or check that, the white car is actually the 19 of Donnie Marvel. Then comes the number six machine of Josh Williams, all the way back in seventh, or actually eighth, excuse me. It's actually, that's Matt Long spun to the inside down in the back straight. So Kevin York will restart eighth, ninth will be Ralph Shaheen. And Matt Long, the handle has gone away on his machine. He will roll off if they can get the car refired in the tenth spot. Kind of unexpected to see that out of Matt Long. The seasoned late model racer, everything he's ever driven in his career has been a late model car of some type, a crate late, a super late, a, a limited sportsman type late model. They like to run here in the southeast with a steel head motor on it. But something with a late model type of platform is what Matt Long is very familiar with. Originally from the Cambridge, Ohio area, now working at the Charlotte Motor Speedway as one of the corporate sales and does some other things over there. And when he can, he gets a run out for the uh, NDRA and the Fast Track Racing Series as well. And it looks like it is, in fact, going to be a one-lap shootout when we do go back green here in just a matter of moments. Green and white flag together. So this restart will be imperative for Tommy Corellis and, for that matter, Willie Evernham, Evan York, and Mark Lowry. You see Lowry pushing Evan York, Evernham, all up on the back bumper of Tommy Corellis through turns three and four. One circuit remaining. Green and white is out. Evernham gets a little bit of a jump on Corellis, but into turn one, Corellis has a one-car length advantage. Everham will hop the ruts down the back straightaway. Corellis with the run. A two car length advantage in the turn number three. Everham sails it in on the bottom side by side at a turn number four. It's going to be Tommy Corellis winning by a half a car length. Evan York will finish third. Fourth looks like Mark Lowry. And fifth, the 19 machine unofficially of Donnie Marvel. So Tommy Corellis has won in six of the past seven decades. And we'll be back in just a couple of moments to talk to him here, here this here evening. Evan it. York, first time in an oval track race, first time in a dirt track. You've got dirt in the sweat on your eye, but you've got a big smile on your face. I saw you and your dad share an embrace a moment ago. Looked like you had a really good time tonight. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, started on the outside second row. Um, 
Got up there, had a pretty good start, stayed up with the front guys, um, and had some awesome battles, man. That was probably some of the best racing I've had in a long time. You know, crisscrossing through turns one and two, um, going back and forth, going at it. I was up there in second for a while. My arm strength started sliding down to my wrist, so I couldn't quite counter steer all the way. So I ended up weaving down the straightaway, trying to slide him back up and pull off a tear, tear off strip at the same time. But all in all, it was a good time, and I'm happy to be third. I mean, as long as the car is still in one piece, which it is, um, I, there's nothing else I can really say. It was awesome. And for that matter, this car, for you to come in from no oval track background, no dirt track background, be able to tell the crew the adjustments and finish third in a race that competitive with a couple guys with a ton of experience in front of you, it's got to say something. Yeah, I mean, you know, everything I know about road racing, you might as well just crumple it up and throw it away. Sean's been kind enough to let me t test the car a couple of times before the race. Um, got a few laps in of practice today before we came out in the race and did well in the heat race and ended up becoming pretty comfortable in the car. and. Now here I am sitting third, so it was a good night. Well, congratulations to you. That's your third place finisher here tonight at East Lincoln Speedway. Evan York, something tells me this kid might be in one of these for a while this year and for years to come. Second place in tonight's world premiere of the U.S. Legend Cars Dirt Modified, Willie Evernham. Looked like you were having fun. Oh, I had a blast, you know. Uh, on the start there, I got knocked back to fourth. Uh, just got jumbled up, which is understandable. You know, I uh, worked my way back up to second, chasing Tommy down. I made a few mistakes out there, and the three caught me and kind of lost a little bit of time racing with him. But uh, everybody I raced would race me clean. I think if I had another 100 feet, uh, I think I would have won her. But, you know, it feels like a win. Uh, like I said, after everything, I, it's just, all the emotions are overwhelming to come here. I haven't raced in over a year, you know, and to finish second to Tommy Carell is one of the best up north. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And of course, that looked like it was just pure fun. You said you're having a ball, but the car it looked like so forgiving. You're able to rub, able to beat it, beat Nerf bars, and just absolutely go to the track, not have to worry about a whole lot, and have fun. Oh yeah, there was a couple times. I mean, the uh, three car bumped wheels a couple times. Uh, car never gave up. Uh, like I, like you said, it was reliable. I could run it anywhere I wanted to. Um, just came up short a little bit, but uh, we'll get him next time. That's Willie Everham, a runner-up finish by about that much here this evening at East Lincoln Speedway. East Lincoln Speedway victory lane with Tommy Corellis. And Tommy, I talked to you earlier this afternoon. I think you were the last guy to get here today. Everybody else has been here practicing, running laps, getting used to these cars. You've been in a race car for 15 years. You come out here, you show them how it's done. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to tease them a little bit. Well, you certainly taught him. You had a bunch of hungry guys behind you. Talk to me about that race because I know I heard you say in victory lane as soon as you got here, you didn't need that last caution. And it certainly looked like it the way Willie Everham was all over you. No, I was getting real loose up in the corner, especially down here in three and four. And uh, I just had to be careful getting in. I knew he was going to be underneath me, but I didn't think he'd be that far under me. So I just here, I see his nose, but I saw just about his whole car there at one point. And speaking of which, it looks like these are really fun and really forgiving to drive because I saw him, like you said, up alongside you. I saw a lot of guys back in the pack banging doors, banging, well, I guess Nerf bars, banging bumpers, having a good old time. And the cars didn't really give up at all. It looks like these are really forgiving cars, not only just to race as far as the driving style, but to also be able to rub and have a good time with. No, they're a car that you can put them through their paces. You can run them hard. You can do a little banging and banging with them because they're built strong. These cars have got a lot of potential in them. You're going to see a lot more of some good racing. And there are 12 more races scheduled this year at East Lincoln Speedway. Can we expect to see you back at at least one, if not all 12 of them? I can promise you one of them, for sure. <laughs> well, that's Tommy Corellis. He is the winner of the inaugural world premiere of the U.S. Legend Cars Dirt Modified here at the East Lincoln Speedway. Stay tuned to XAN, and for that matter, U.S. Legend Cars. More information on these machines, how you can get one, and for that matter, where you can race one.